Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you a helpful artificial intelligence tool called Magic School that is actually designed for teachers by teachers. So this tool does use generative AI. So you ask it questions and fill in some data, and then it completes those prompts and does some research for you. It is pulling from ChatGPT, which is a very common popular AI tool that is out there right now. But the cool thing about Magic School AI is the creators of this have put in and created specific generators based on common things that teachers do during their day or might need assistance with. There's also some helpful options on here if you are someone who is an instructional coach and supports teachers, as well as if you're an administrator, there's some helpful pieces on here as well. So it is totally free. You can use your Google account to authenticate and they also have an extension. Uh, and the first time you go through, it'll do a really nice guided tutorial that walks you through how to use some of these steps. All of the content can be translated. So that's really helpful as well if you speak different languages or if you want content to be produced in different languages to support the needs of your learners or your students. But when I go in, I'm probably gonna see lots of different options on the screen the first time. So I can filter by these different categories. And as I get comfortable and start using this tool more often, I can star or favorite any one of these so they stay at the top of my list so I'm not scrolling through as much. New generators are added about every week or two, and they are going to be here at the top of your screen with a little indicator that shows that they are new. And there are all kinds of different options on here. It really just depends on maybe where you're wanting to save some time and where you need some support. So some of my favorite tools on here are some of the tools that can help you with creating text at different levels. Um, so every now and then you want to, you know, give your students an informational text and maybe the only version that's in your textbook or the website might be at a reading level that doesn't fit the, that doesn't fit the needs of all of your students. So you have the text rewriter tool here and it can basically change the different grade levels or Lexile level of any type of text that you would like. So you can paste in the text or you can have it generate that text for you at a specified level. So if you're teaching new tricky vocabulary to students and you want it to be at a third or fourth grade level, maybe you have middle school students, it can easily do that. There are more content specific tools in here. So there's Mass Spiral Review. You can create um, text levels again here to fit students' reading levels or needs, text summarizers, there's translators, there's the ability to create some text dependent questions. So if you have an article or reading and you want some questions to go along with that, it can easily create that, which is kind of similar to what we see on some of our state standardized tests. There's email assistance tools here. If you're crafting an email to a student or a family or even something to include in your newsletter, it can help you with writing that. IEP goals. The only thing I will say is just never enter in the student's personally identifiable information, like their full name, their email address, into these tools, just because those are things that are private. We shouldn't be putting those out on any type of public interface or in a public system like this. Other options on here, there's text summarizers. You can do a really fun one here where it's create a song about someone, like one of your colleagues. So if I wanted to do that, I could type in the person, some details to include in this song, and then what type of song or, you know, I'm, I want this to go to the beat too. So that could be helpful for celebrating one of your colleagues, but also could be something as a way to celebrate the students in your room, you know, say, oh, we made a song about you. And some students will really eat that up and enjoy it. My other favorite tools that are on here that I really love and I think are super helpful for saving time is just this rubric generator tool. Rubrics are so helpful for giving our students a roadmap of where we want them to be at the end of an experience, an assignment, or a project, but they're really time consuming to make. So this really helps cut down that prep time for you as a teacher and makes it easier so that you don't have to spend tons of time making this. You can have more time spent having those conversations with students and supporting them during the project. So to do this, I'll go in and I'll specify my grade level. And then I can type out the objective of the project, the learning goal that I'm hoping students will reach. Add that in. I decide the scale, any other detail I can include, and then I click generate. And it's going to think here for a little bit, and it's writing out that rubric for me. And after it finishes is where I have lots of flexibility and options. So I can come up here to the top and I can read through all of this content if I would like. 
And then if I wanted to add more or to edit this, I can click this little chat bot where it says ask Raina and edit that, give it some suggestions. And there is a little bit of being more specific. And as you start to use this, these tools, you'll realize you need to add in some more details here and there to get it to produce the output that you were looking for. I can have it shorter. I can ask questions. If there's pieces on this, I don't feel like that are quite accurate. I can have it translated, but here is the helpful one. If I click copy, I can copy and paste this into a Google Doc so it's in a printable format for my students and they're all good to go. So that is one of the reasons why I love this tool is that it's just so easy to make rubrics and to easily produce those for students and share them. The other piece kind of along those same lines is that every now and then when you're doing a project, it might be helpful for your students to have an exemplar to reference or a non-exemplar. So I can go in and make my rubric, but then I can also create some fake student work like what we see right here. And I can give that to my students so then they can look at that example, that fake student work that this has generated for me and use that with my rubric and then practice evaluating so that my students understand the expectations for the assignment as well. And they've seen some examples to help spark some inspiration and give them some better visualization of maybe what they can do in their project. So there's all kinds of tools on here and every single one of these that whatever it creates for you, there's always the ability to copy and paste it elsewhere and continue to edit that. So certainly fun. And as you find tools that you like, you're going to be using more often. If you star those, they're always going to be at the top of your list. So if you have not checked out Magic School AI to save you some time, really recommend doing that.